One of the top mixed-use developments in North Carolina is called North Hills. On today's video, we're going to take you on a walking tour and give you some insider local knowledge about this landmark development in the heart of Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, this is Chris Morton, real estate broker with eXp Realty in Raleigh, North Carolina. On today's video, we're going to tell you a little bit, a lot bit, about North Hills, which is a mixed-use development in the heart of Raleigh, North Carolina, between downtown and North Raleigh. The whole area has been renamed and redubbed Midtown, and this area is, I have to tell you, amazing. Completely, just about anything you can imagine is located within this giant complex. There's restaurants, there's bars, there's shops, big box shops, little mom and pop shops, everything in between. Target's there, Total Wine and More is there, about any service you can imagine is there, including dry cleaning, two-story grocery store. Basically, if you live in this complex or live anywhere within walking distance, you don't ever need a car. And if you stay until the end, we're going to give you some insider information on three multi-billion, yes, billion with a B, projects that are coming in the next couple years around and inside of North Hill. So let's get started with this tour right now. So we're starting our tour on the Park District side, which was the side of the complex that was built in 2010. Uh, on the left of this video, you're seeing the Coastal Credit Union stage where there's musical acts. And this AstroTurf quad is really, really cool. People use it to host outdoor events, watch the bands play, obviously. You can do picnics here. And there's also some outdoor classes, like gym classes that are taught. On either side, you're gonna see uh, some six-story buildings. These are apartment complexes uh, with residential above and commercial below. And as you see, there's shopping below commercial. We're now going to take a turn and go down towards one of the entrances of Hare, entrances of Hare Cedar, which is the grocery store in this area. These are two-story like brownstone apartments that are part of one of the apartment complexes. There are four apartment complexes on the Park District side, so plenty of places for you to live. This is Chewy's, a really good Mexican restaurant. If you haven't uh, got one in your hometown, definitely worth a try when you get here to North Hills. More apartment complexes. This building um, straight ahead was a Hyatt Place Hotel. One of two hotels in the, three hotels in the area. So plenty of shopping, plenty of restaurants. This Kilwins is, if you don't have one in your area, they're mostly on the East Coast. Ice cream, fudge, cookies, really awesome stuff. Park Central, one of the apartment complexes. Vita Vite is um, a two-story wine bar. Really, really cool. Great place to hang out. You can sit out on the balcony and watch people out on the quad. Chill environment, needless to say. Orange Theory. I used to be a member here. They kicked my butt. It's tough. Um, Orange Theory, Cycle Bar, and a couple others. You can have plenty of your gym activities going on and get your health the groove on. Midtown Yoga. Another place to get your activities going. And this Happy and Hale is a really cool, super healthy restaurant. They've got a couple locations in town, one downtown, local establishment. So now we're going to turn and go towards the other side of, of the park district. Again, more shopping. Another Broken Egg Cafe, really cool place for breakfast or brunch gets really really busy on weekends construction continues they're building more high-rises in the on this side and again more restaurants and shopping world of beer yard house are both here in this on the ground floor of this building world of beer has about five million beers give or take five million Yard House, really good food there. And then we come around. This is on the bottom floor. This high rise is all office, grade A, high end, really nice office. I just had a closing in this building, really, really pretty. We're gonna take a tour of the building in a little bit. Cowfish, really great restaurant. Rosewater, another great restaurant. Great brunch, great dinner. 
two really cool things. Cowfish, you can get sushi and a burger at the same time. Really, really neat. Really like rose water. Recommend it if you guys come to give it a shot. Brunch is amazing, let me tell you. And then we have Stir, which is a really cool restaurant, oyster bar. They're famous for their cocktails. And then the AC Hotel, another of the hotels in the area. And they have level seven, which is, you guessed it, on the seventh floor of the complex. It is a bar, rooftop lounge kind of vibe. Love this place. Lots of people come here during the day that are staying in the hotel and get worked on like these two guys. And of course we had to stop for a libation ourselves. Um, really pretty upscale vibe, great place to meet people. And at night it gets really, really hopping and fun for locals, either that live in Raleigh or especially the people that live in these apartments. That straight ahead is Dartmouth ap uh, apartment complex. Another high rise, the, the Capitol Grill and Stir is below. So that's taking you a look back from the way we came. So you can see amazing views, especially in the spring and summer. You would love to be out here, enjoy things. They do have heaters, so you can definitely be out here in the fall and the, and the winter. Capital Grill, one of my favorite restaurants. It is a chain, but they have a really good steak. Probably one of our favorite places to go. And we'll take you inside and give you an idea of what the lobby of these um, office buildings and I told you it was grade A and it truly is definitely somewhere if you're looking for office space would be a very very good place to go love sitting out on their Capitol Grill bar there and they have it all enclosed right now for the winter so now we're gonna take the walk across the street this is Six Forks Road which is one of the main arteries in town in Raleigh gonna take a tour walk across to get to the main district and this was the main part of North Hills that really came online um, in 2004. They tore down the old North Hills Mall, Kane Realty did, and developed all of this. So you have shopping, you have restaurants, just like you saw on the other side. Um, the height requirements have recently changed on this side. They Before you couldn't build anything above four or five stories, and obviously they could build bigger on the other side. There's your Starbucks, one of three Starbucks's in the area. Fox and Hounds is a nice restaurant. Warby Parker, glasses and sunglasses. If you don't know them, that's a very cool place. Definitely recommend. They came on, came here about two years ago. Chick-fil-A, you've got Regal Cinemas, 14 screen theater, more restaurant shopping, etc. And then another AstroTurf quad. Kids love to play in this area because in that same building that there's a Starbucks, there's also a Ben and Jerry's. And so kids like to hang out there, especially the spring and the summer. There's the Ben and Jerry's. Now we're going to take a trip down the escalator to get to Target. Yep, there is a Target here, and it has a grocery store in it. Just about anything you could imagine that you need is in Target, including the number two of three Starbucks's are in that Target. We'll go head back upstairs, back to the main level, and go around the corner. More shopping. Renaissance Hotel in front of you. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Fitness Connection, uh, two-story gym. Very, very large gym. It's been here since the very beginning um, of the complex in 2004 and tons of members, great place to go work out. More shopping. So now we're gonna go into the Renaissance. Definitely top grade level hotel. If you've got anybody come into town or you yourself are in town and you want top flight accommodations, this is definitely a place you wanna go. Beautiful lobby. Then, Mason's Lobster Rolls, one of my favorite places. They have some really good lobster rolls and you can get giant rolls or you can get regular sized people rolls. I, of course, am a pig. I have to have the big rolls for just a little bit more money. Bar Taco, one of my favorite restaurants in the complex. You can get mm, 30 different kinds of tacos, I guess, uh, something in that range. And you just pick each one. It's sort of like tapas, but with tacos, really cool. And then around the corner is a temporary location for restoration hardware. I say temporary because 
Again, if you stay to the end, I give you a teaser. There's a mega restoration hardware coming to this complex. I can't wait. Super excited. One of very, very few, maybe 30 in the country is coming to North Hill. So super cool. So now we're going down more shopping. You see back towards the movie theaters and all of that sort of thing. We're going to go around the corner and see more of what's going on over there. Here on the corner on the left, we just passed it. Wish you were here. We do wish you were here. Uh, Fink's Jewelers was on the corner. It's a mainstay from the area. Been in Raleigh for many, many years. They moved to North Hills probably seven or eight years ago. Lily Pulitzer, more shopping. Beyond Blue, we just passed really quickly. And then Ethan Allen, two of the furniture stores. You can literally get everything you want from a toothbrush to a sofa in North Hills. Love it. This is the old JCPenney building. We're gonna be talking about that at the end of the video. That's part of the teaser. Roos Chris, if the Capitol Grill doesn't suit your fancy for steaks, we got a Roos Chris. Now we're gonna go across the street to the Laster at North Hills District. Gotta watch out for traffic. There we go, now we're going. Now this was originally here. Um, it was added on to, and above these shops is the Lasser Apartments, but this was, a good bit of this complex was already here when Kane Realty came in and redeveloped everything. They bought this section in 1999, and this was sort of the precursor of everything going on. So you see, you see more shops. Vivace, great Italian restaurant, highly recommended. Definitely recommend you give this place a try as well. As you can tell, I've spent a lot of time eating in North Hills. Great, great place to go. And it's super convenient for most people in Raleigh. So you kind of go park your car and do your thing. Lasseter Apartments, that's how you get in the main door. There was a Von Keckel there, hair salon. Really, really good hair salon. More shopping. Across the street is Sur La Tabla. I think it's the only one in the area now. You know, you get it for, go in for cookware, all that sort of thing. Love that store, great store. Another gym, Pure Barre. I don't know how to pronounce that, I apologize. And then Aladdin's Eatery is a really, really nice little place for breakfast, lunch, grab a sandwich kind of thing. Now we're gonna go back up to the back side of the building. There's a alteration shop, Brothers Cleaners, great cleaner, Walgreens, UPS store. Again, just about anything you could imagine is in this place. And then another of my favorite restaurants, Bonefish. I know it's a chain, but they have great seafood. I love the Bang Bang Shrimp, so definitely give that a try when you get here. Chipotle, Chipotle, Panera Bread, right here after. And then of course, no complex could be complete without you guessed it, Starbucks. Starbucks number three. This one has an outside fireplace, which is really, really cool. This bull box has just opened up brand new. They were a food truck, and now they've got a location in, uh, in North Hills. And then North, North Hills Grill. Lululemon, great athletic wear. Total Wine and More, a great place for some wine. Again, you don't ever have to leave the complex. It's, it's crazy. So now we're going to head you over to Midtown Exchange. This is a brand new, not even built yet, dining and entertainment district with convention space. It's almost With almost 800,000 square feet of, of office space, you can see these two office towers that are attached. It's going to be crazy. There's going to be apartments, condos, senior living, seven acres of green space. You can see all the water features that are here. Construction is planned to be starting middle of 2021 and the first tower of those two office towers is going to be ready late 2022. Things are going to keep going and progressing until this thing is done. I can't wait for this to open. It is not in North Hills, but it is pretty much attached to North Hills. Very, very, very exciting complex that they're going to have here. Condos, that's a condo building there above. And there's those two beautiful office towers. Again, the, one of them will be ready late 2022. Really beautiful complex. Can't wait for this to come online. And 
this is just amazing very exciting again all the water features that you can see you're gonna be half present in this lots of green space super cool this is going to be a tavern there below with the um with the umbrellas it's on the site of the original isaac's hunters isaac hunter's tavern which was the first one of the first buildings in raleigh and um, they've managed to save some of the tavern they've discovered it found it and they're going to be putting it into a museum i am being told so now we're moving over to the north hills innovation district this is right behind all of that park central area that we looked at before the vine Apartments are already there. There's gonna be some new things coming online. It's a billion dollar project 33 acres There's going to be an a office tower 5 which is going to be a mixture of tech life science biotech office space, etc This is the big branch food hall 20,000 square foot food hall that's coming online really really cool This is all getting going in about 2023 and last but not least, in the main district, there's going to be the revitalization of main district, $400 million project. It's going to be on the side of that JC Penney's I showed you earlier and their parking lot. It's residential office, ground floor retail, and a restoration hardware gallery. It's going to come up here in a second on our video. Um, it is a three-story restoration hardware. There it is, 50,000 square foot retail with a rooftop restaurant um, there's very very few of these in the world this is just a, a rendering of what it's going to look like once you can imagine how hot this is going to be when this finally comes online they're going to start building this pretty much any middle of 2021 any day now and it's scheduled to open 2023 again it's 33 acres 400 million dollar project and there you have it beautiful 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 complex there's the whole thing including the current north hills and there's going to be just an amazing view parking plenty of parking so instead of having a parking deck which is a really large waste of space a parking lot they're going to have the parking deck excuse me So that was North Hills. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Please like and subscribe below. We'd love to have you join us for future videos. And with that being said, this has been Chris Morton. See you soon. Bye-bye.